guys, what's up? This is Kat and welcome back to the bookish side of me. Oh my goodness, I hope you guys are not hearing all the noise from the background. We are currently parked here <laughs> in McDo so that I could film this video. And I'm very in a hurry to film this video because this should be up by tomorrow. But anyway guys, before we start with this, please make sure to check the links down below. Um, I have a lot of donation, petition, and resources links on the description box. So please do check that out and then go back to this video after you've done all those stuff, okay? Now guys, before I move on to this... TBR of the Reading Rush, I also would like to make a quick announcement that I am actually co-hosting another readathon in August, which is called the Weekathon. So Weekathon is a readathon created in celebration of the Buwan ng Wika, or in English, the Month of Philippine Language. So here in the Philippines, we celebrate Buwan ng Wika every August. So that's why we thought of doing a month-long readathon, Reading Filipino Written Works. So we're going to celebrate a lot of Filipino authors this August and I'm very very excited for that. If you want to know more the details, all the prompts, um, how to join, there's also a discord for the participants. Please do check out Kate's channel. I'm going to link it down below. Kate from Yachty to Kate is the one who created this readathon. This is her vision for the longest time and I'm very excited to help her with promoting Filipino authors. So together with Kate, we're also co-hosting this with Gerald from Gerald the Bookworm, Julian from Love Julian, and Alex from Alex on the Block. So you can also check out their channels below. They produce amazing content as well, you guys. Anyway, let's move on to this TBR. I know that guys, this is going to be a last minute TBR for the Reading Rush. And if I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of hesitant to join the readathon because I'm not really in the right headspace right now. I think I have a semi mini reading slump that's going on since June. And I don't know if I can accomplish all the prompts for the Reading Rush. So if you are not familiar yet, Reading Rush is a readathon created by Ariel and Raylene and they do this every year, every July. And this is a week-long readathon. They created seven prompts as usual. So this is going to be my first time to participate in the summer reading rush because I've participated in April during the Stay Home Reading Rush readathon, which I'm also going to link down below. Let's move on to my TBR. Um, again, as I've said earlier, I'm not really in the mood to read a lot but i have here a couple of books that i really want to read before this month ends but i'm not really sure if i could accomplish everything so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you briefly this books and then later we're going to find which prompt they belong okay all right so first book that i want to read is a romance novel and that is after i do by taylor and jenkins read this is going to be my first time to read a romance novel from this author that is not set in that is not set from a long time ago i think because i'm not sure either but yeah i'm gonna read this one the next two books that i want to read are both mystery thriller these books are already hyped a long time ago and you know that I'm super behind with everything so the first book that I have here is The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware which is a mystery thriller I'm very excited to try a book from Ruth Ware because of a lot of hype and then my my pumaparada na po sa tabi namin. <laughs> and then the next book that I have is another hyped up mystery thriller and that is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. So I don't know anything about these books but I just want to read them. So that's it. Also I have here a middle grade fantasy and I want to read this book, This Reading Rush because we have a live show of this of our book club, The Tree House, on the 26th of July which is Sunday at 7.30pm here on my channel. So. I have to read it this week. I have no choice, but that is Arusha and the End of Time by Roshni Chokshi. Again, all the details about our book club, you can definitely see that on our handles on Instagram and Twitter. Please do follow us there and see you on the live show. 
And then also I have here a graphic novel from one of my favorite series of all time and that is Legend by Marilu. I really want to get to this because I need to reread the trilogy before I get to Rebel. And then the last book that I have here is a Filipino written book that is from one of my favorite Filipino authors of all time and that is Bata Bata Pano Ka Ginawa by Luwalhati Bautista. And currently guys, I am actually reading another Luwalhati Bautista. I'm reading this one, um, Decada Setenta. I'm just in the mood to read her books so that's why I was planning to read this on the reading rush as well but anyway these are the books that I am planning to read for the reading rush although I'm not really sure if I can get through all of them so guys right now I'm going to read the prompts or the challenges created by the host and then we're going to see which of these books will fit the prompt okay all right the first one is read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone and I was born in September so my birthstone is sapphire as far as I know but the color of sapphire is something like this so I'm not really good at like color shade if this is correct or accurate or whatever but I just decided to choose a book with a blue cover because that's it's the sapphire's color, right? So I have here a few choices from the ones that I've shown you. Um, I have here After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I can read this. I also have The Woman in Cabin 10 because there's a blue cover there. There's the sea, the sky, the mountains, whatever. But yeah, this too could fit the prompt. I'm gonna let you know which ones I will choose, okay? The next prompt is read a book that starts with the word the. So, also, I have here two books. I have here The Woman in Cabin 10 and The Girl on the Train. So, those are the two dos on my pile. The next one is read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. So, when I was thinking about this, I actually don't watch a lot of movies. Alright, so for this prompt, guys, I just chose a Filipino movie that I've already seen when I was younger and then I haven't read the book yet. And that is Bata Bata Pano Ka Ginawa by Luwalhati Bautista. I haven't read this book yet, but I've seen the movie a lot of times and I love it so much. <laughs> So I know that I'm gonna love this as well. The next prompt is read the first book you touch. Actually guys, I made a whole video of the books that I want to read for this month and then I jumbled, what do you call that? Like I Basta hindi ko explain I'm going to put here two clips. Which is very funny because I did this challenge twice. And for both times, I picked the same book. So I'm going to roll the video now. Go. So, as you've seen in those two videos, those are just random, okay? And then I still picked the same book twice, and that is After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I told to myself, maybe the universe is telling me to read this goddamn book. So I will for the Reading Rush Week. Alright, so I'm gonna read this very surely. Next prompt is read a book completely outside of your house. And this one, you can choose any book that you'd like to read outside your house. For that one, guys, I'm thinking of reading a graphic novel, Legend by Marilu. I'm not really sure if I'm going outside of our house to read this book, but I'm going to make some revisions or modifications with this prompt so that I could follow it somehow. Um, according to Ariel and Greenland, you are very free to interpret this according to your own whichever suits you because they don't promote going outside especially during this whole quarantine so stay safe guys stay healthy the next prompt is read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of 
I think you already know this, but the one genre that I'm very hesitant and intimidated to go into is a fantasy book. So that's why this one will perfectly fit that prompt. And that is the reason we have the tree host, right? Because we don't read a lot of fantasy. So this is a perfect book for that challenge. Yay! Last prompt is read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live. So I live in the Philippines, I live in Asia, and that's pretty much easier to accomplish because a lot of books were published or set in United States or European countries or whatever. So I have here a few books from America. These four are from America. Whichever I read for this week, that would definitely fit this book. That's it guys for my TBR This Reading Rush. Again, these are the books that I want to read but I'm not sure if I will read all of them. One thing's for sure, I'm gonna read a book next week and whichever is it, I'm just gonna be happy with it because I'm on a reading slop. So anything that I read will, you know, perfect for me. Anyway guys, that's it for this TBR. I also want to know if you're participating in Reading Rush this year. I hope that you will. So if you're posting or if you have already posted your TBR for the Reading Rush, comment it down below. I want to watch it. I want to see your TBR as well. And also guys, if you want to join Weekathon next month, please check Kate's video and all the details are there. I'm also going to post my Weekathon TBR next week so I hope that you stay tuned for that. This is going to be exciting. So that's it guys. I hope that you are safe, you're healthy and just remember that the world is yours for the reading. Bye and see you on the next one. Bye babe. <laughs>